Greetings and welcome to Transport Fever 2. I'm Catherine of Sky and I'm so excited to be playing this game. I can't even tell you how long I've been waiting for this to come out. First of all, huge, huge thank you to Urban Games for giving me a key to play this game as well as the ability to feature it before it gets out into the general public. Now, a lot of, I know a lot of people are like, oh my God, but you have it before I do. Well, that's a good thing because it enables me to show you whether you're interested in spending your money or not. So we're going to talk about about a lot of the things about the game. I've been practicing a heck of a lot uh, to give you the best series possible. So let's jump right into it and start with a free game. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna choose a new map and I've already chosen the map. I've already prepared the map. Um, and basically what that involved is looking for industries that I kind of felt like were good to start with, as well as naming the towns and all the industries as well. So anyway, we have, I think this is two hilliness. Let's see, that's two. Mainland is at three. Forests are closest to the end, uh, but not the end. And islands are the same. Again, capital M, small m, nine. We're playing on the tropical islands, which I understand wasn't a thing in uh, Transport Fever 1. And we're also going to choose, okay, so we have a very large land mass. You have choice of small, medium, large, or very large. We're going one to one. Uh, these others basically make the lap map uh, thin and long. Uh, we're going to high cities. Um, because we want cities to be fairly close together, especially in the early game, because we're going to start with the very dawn of the age of railroading, uh, which is around 1850. And um, we want, well, not the dawn, but close, very close. Um, and we want close enough places that we can get from town to town with a stagecoach. Uh, we're having low industries because on all of my... I don't know, it looks like there's way too many all over the place. All these yellow things you see here are industries. And I always enjoyed like sparse industries that we just kind of like travel across the whole map to do. So anyway, we have 21 towns, 86 industries, and we're gonna say next, and we're gonna choose the Asian vehicles. I'm really excited about this because we get um, basically vehicles from all over Asia. And I've always played a lot with European and American vehicles. And so now we get the Asian ones. We're going to start in 1850. Difficulty is medium. Uh, we have the choice of easy, medium, or hard. And easy is probably a little bit too easy. And then hard is, well, it's, you'll see that medium is, is challenging enough. So let's start. All right, here we are in this absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous landmass. Oh my God, look at the turquoise blue of the water. Oh, so pretty, pretty, pretty. So now you're probably wondering, what did KOS do to this map when she prepared it? Uh, what she did is she went and painstakingly changed the name of all the cities to reflect patrons. Not only did she change the name of the cities, but to maximize the number of patrons that she could put in, she also changed the names of every one of the industries to something new. So yes, we have many, many, many places and hopefully we'll get to see everybody's name uh, in here and it's pretty, pretty exciting. <laughs> anyway, so it's, it's, it's fun. And what I've done also is I have looked through and figured out where exactly we want to start. Alrighty, here we go. So if you're playing along at home, this is where we're starting in this area in a place called Laffy Taffyville. Thank you so very much, Laffy Taffy, for being such an awesome, awesome patron. Okay, as you see, Laffy Taffyville has bricks. And what we're going to do is I've looked at a number of ways of doing this. And this game is not easy to start. Let's let's just get that right out of the way here. Um, I think some people make it look easy, but when you actually play it, it isn't easy. Um, and I had many failed starts before I found a way that would work most of the time. Okay, so we're gonna just do this to the best of what I have found. What we're looking for is a city that, that demands a certain type of goods. Uh, these goods should be produced fairly close by, AKA over there. Um, and the materials should also be fairly close by because these are gonna be supplied in early game. Now I think we have, yes, we have a quarry down here and we have a quarry up here. 
So we have Off the Ball Quarry and we have Yashua Quarry. Thank you very much both for being my patrons. And uh, we're going to try to bring this to Wally1169 Construction Materials. I think Construction Materials 1. Construction Materials Plant. Right. Um, and then from there, we're going to transport it to Laffy Taffyville. And um, that is the long term, well, the short term, long term goal. The very first thing we want to do is so, so we're going to use this money. We have seed money here. We have a $5 million loan. Now we owe that back to the bank. We can borrow up to $10 million. Hopefully we won't have to borrow that much. But in the meantime, what we need to do is set up um, several bus routes in these different cities to make a little bit of money and start the towns growing just a little tiny bit if possible. So that's what we're going to start off doing first. Now, one of the interesting things about the game, and we're going to do this for the, for the moment, is that you can change time can change the date speed. I want to start in 1850, but I need to get some data before I we can start. So what we're going to do is turn the date speed down to paused. And that way we can run the game. And in fact, I can uh, probably, ah, it doesn't matter if we repay the loan or not. We're going to look for this as a very short term possibility here. Now these data layers are pretty darn cool. And what we want to look at is destinations. And these figures update in real time, as you can see. And what we're looking at here is the traffic that's going from Mark Foxton to Laffy Taffy and uh, Laffy Taffyville, pardon me. And 11 people is pretty darn good. That's a big traffic route. What about here? We have just one going up to Shadella Township. And by the way, thank you everyone for being my patron. I don't think I have time to say thank you individually, but please, please know that you are so valued to me. You have no idea. Uh, anyway, so we have traffic coming here up to Duskfall and from Duskfall 3 up to Characterburg. Okay, so these are kind of the main cities we're looking at right now because, let's see, do any of them also demand bricks? Not at the moment. Some of them, I think there are, oh yeah, Erieville does. But Erieville is not connected anywhere. Hmm, we have to, may have to change that. Um, and then what else do we have here? Here's a nice blue line. What do we got here? Four coming up to Prongsville. Okay, that's great. All right, so these are really good candidates for getting passenger lines spread out amongst them. We have five between here and there. Uh, this one is five. And then here is the most 17 between towns, between Laffy Taffyville and Mark Foxton. So what I'm going to do is we're going to make some um, kind of big transportation centers in, the, in these cities, I think. I think that's probably the best way we want to go about this. And later we might connect them to train stations as well. Look at how pretty this area. Isn't this lovely? It's just just really pretty, all the greenery in here. And of course, we have all these tropical plants as well. They're so nice. Um, OK, so we're starting in 1850. We have people. I don't know if we can. Can we see the people? I think we can. They wear funny colored, funny, co not colored, but funny mm, styled clothes and suit. It's adorable. And this lady has like a either a carpet bag or a purse, but a little straw hat on her head. Really, really adorable. Um, so anyway, let's see if we can get ourselves oriented. Yes, we're back, back the way we should be. So the idea is to create several intercity routes, hopefully, that will take pieces, people from the hub of a city to the other hub of a city, the, the center part of it in any case, uh, where we are going to build a hub more specifically. So let's get out. Um, first of all, we're going to get out one of these stations, which is really awesome. We have modular uh, bus tram stations and mo modular cargo stations. I'm going to show you how these guys work. They're so good. Um, ah, yes. And here's another feature that's quite fun. So when I bring out one of these stations, as you can see, you see little bricks above here and you see the bread over here. Now these correspond with the different types of buildings in our town. You can see it quite clearly from here. These kind of look like houses and these kind of look like 
hotels and commercial buildings. And these, guess what those look like? Mostly like factories. Yes, they do. So anyway, these represent different parts of our cities. Let's see where we can see these. Is it here? Ah, yes, here. So this is our cargo um, for what we need. We have, uh, let's see, industrial. Here's our commercial buildings and then residential. Is it here? No. Is that the right thing? Yeah, here it is. This is what I was looking for, land use. So yeah, we have residential mostly here, partially here, and commercial over here, and industrial over here. We also have a new thing in the game called emissions. At the moment, there aren't any emissions, but you want to make sure to keep your emissions out of the residential areas because that that's going to make people quite unhappy and it restricts city growth. We'll go into that a little bit more later. Emissions are basically noise, pollution, um, noise, noise pollution and other pollution and dung on the streets for your horses and all kinds of other stuff that you might just classify under emissions. So anyway, the bulk of the transport is people traveling from residential areas to other cities to go shopping. They love shopping in other places. Let's see if we can click on this thing. Does it say, yeah, 190 shopping facilities, 190 workplaces, and some of them will even work in other cities. Oh, look at this. There we go. Look at this. So destinations, we have 21 people shopping and working in Mark Foxton. And in Mark Foxton, we have probably, oh, well, 18 people shopping and 16 working in Laffy Taffyville. So these um, two cities are quite connected as we have seen from the traffic on the road. So what we wanna do is make sure that we have connections to the shopping and the working spots in town so that people can get to where they wanna go because that's kind of the basis of, of the passenger traffic in the game. So what we wanna do is we're gonna do a bus tram station and we're going to line this up the best way we can. Uh, it looks like it's not. Oh, we can do tiny, tiny, tiny shift movements. Oh, that's nice. I learned that the other day. Um, so you can do gross movements with M and N. And sometimes it won't line up quite right. So you have to use shift M and N to kind of adjust it just a tiny bit. Perfect. So we can go ahead and line this up. I think... This is closest to the center of town and where we might have a, in fact, maybe I should put it on this side in hopes of a train station coming through here possibly, or we could put a train station on the outside of town. Well, we can always move the central hub. That is not a big deal at all. So let's see if we can get this. You know what, let me turn this around and I'm gonna keep these buildings over here. Cause if you notice, all right, I'm gonna try to shift this as well. Is that ish? That's ish lined up, but we want to reduce as many buildings as possible. So uh, you'll see that the price goes up very vastly if we have to buy houses from people and say, eh, yeah, we're going to destroy your house. Sorry. Okay. Do we go shift F? Nope. I think that's actually perfect. That is perfect. So let's go ahead and build our, uh, our little driveway there. Okay. Very nice. And the cool thing about these stops is that you can configure them. So we're looking here at a stop that will take two passenger vehicles. They're going to be Troikas, I believe, and they'll come in here and pick up people at these benches. Uh, we can configure this though, to add more stuff. Oops. Let's get into this zoom level here. We can add, um, dedicated in and out entrances. We can add a road. We can add more of these stations here. If we, um, decide to make, we can make them longer. We can make them wider and we can also add cargo here as well. And just basically expand this one station if we want to the whole time. So at the moment we have two, uh, platforms and that's enough for us right now. We don't need any more. I really want to be as frugal with money as possible. So this counts as a station and it allows our coaches to drive in and come out without, um, having to turn around anywhere. Like for here, if you put a station right here, the, 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 the little horse cart is going to come up, but it can't turn around here. No, it has to go all the way to the end of the road. Uh, alternatively it could go around square blocks. So that's part of the, uh, philosophy of, uh, of road building and of station building that we're going to be looking at at the moment. So, all right, we have our first station. It looks 
absolutely you know what let's celebrate let's put in a couple of palm trees because i'm so excited about this oh these are so pretty Ooh, can we can we rotate these so that they're like half covering nah yep shall we shall we just do that be sneaky and just like half cover this thing like this and add here and add oh no can i have a different one give me another one different please hello no okay I don't know how, oh, wait, maybe this is the right one anyway. It'll be fine. Perfect. All right, this is going to mark our entrance to the station. A little bit corny, a little bit cheesy, but that's okay. People are going to say, hey, we got a new bus stop. Hooray. So anyway, um, let us go ahead and put in the rest of the stations. Now, we have uh, bus tram stops, uh, and these are really good for places that we don't expect to have a huge amount of traffic or this, this is an area where the, uh, the carts can stack up, shall we say. So, um, how do we want to do this? We definitely need something down here because this thing covers, wow, it covers nearly the entire town. However, it's also good to grow the town. So what I want to do is I want to put in a couple of different lines for different areas. So for example, I want to have one line for um, maybe the commercial area and maybe this other, the, the residential area over here. And then we'll have another line that goes to people's workplaces. I think that would be useful. Maybe workplace and then get some of these passengers from here. Maybe we'll pick them up along here. I don't know. Let's just, let's put in a couple of different lines and then we'll, uh, we'll get things moving along here. So let's get our stations. Okay. And I'll put this one in maybe here and there. Now I like putting stations on both sides of the road. And the reason for that is so that people can, um, we can do opposite lines if we want to, All right? We'll put one here for anything new that's going to happen out there. And then we'll put another station section there. So that's going to be one line that I want to have that direction. And I'm going to have a different line going this direction because I think it's just too much traffic if we do it that way. So what I want to do is we're going to get the roads out and just basically make a basic skeleton of a road here. And I'm just going to go straight through like this. Sometimes this game has a little bit problem with straightness, just FYI. <laughs> it's like it likes to curve the roads, whether you want them to be curved or not. Uh, all right. And then we're going to add, I think I want to add one through here as well. Yay, wow. You know what? We're not going to add one through there. It'll be fine. I don't want to spend that kind of money on that right now. So let's go ahead and put in uh, not a train building. I know we're getting ahead of ourselves, but it's so tasty. I know, I know, don't worry. I know the pain, it will be fine. So we'll have another say over here and then another stop maybe here. And then we're gonna have one right on this corner so that it services all of this area out here. And that also is going to come back into there. Do we want to have one here? No, I think we're fine. I think that's good. So what we want to do now is we need to build a road depot. So we have vehicles to, uh, so the vehicles can come out and have a place to, to do things. So, so let's just place this. I like to place it a little ways away from a corner so that buildings can develop along here, like these small houses and things. Okay, so shall we buy some vehicles? Right, so we have passenger carriages. We have the Troika and cargo. All we have is an Asian horse-drawn carriage. Um, they don't go very fast. They don't carry very much like the Troika carries three people. Now, this is such a funny thing because to train three horses to go <laughs> in a group is, um, yeah, it's very difficult work. But anyway, carries three people and cargo type is passengers, obviously. And they do have emissions, 63. And we're going to see our streets become very littered with emission. So what I want to do is I want to have, um, let's have three per line. We haven't done this yet. So let's buy six. And then it doesn't update until you click out or press enter or something. And then it gives you the total cost. So let's buy these things. So those are our road vehicles here. So... Hmm. Let's see what we want to do here. We need to create our lines. 
And what we're going to do is start with this tool here. This is a line manager. It's going to start a new line from here. We're going to start at our yeah, Laffy Taffyville halt, then go around. I'm going to go anti-clockwise, which is just fine. I don't think we need to make the clockwise route as well. I just want to make one of them and it's just fine. So we're going to call this one, let's see, road passengers, RP. Um, uh, laugh city. Yep. Uh, or laugh one, maybe. Yeah, that's fine. And then we're going to do another new line and that's going to be here, starting for at the halt again, going down here here and you can see the return of the line as it goes around and then just click uh, everywhere you want this to go. So this is going to be again road passengers laugh two. Okay now uh, now we go to our vehicle manager and we're going to click one two three of them to go to laugh one. Thank you. Uh, oops. And then the rest of these, you don't even have to click this thing. I love this. It's like all the rest, just go to laugh too. Okay. And those guys are going to let, you know what? Let's look at this. I'm going to, I want you to just see how cute this is. They're going to come out. Oh, here's the Troika. Look at that. That's so good. Except usually in a, in a Troika, they, I don't think they were, they were like this. They, they kind of like uh, held them together differently where the center horse was ahead of the other two and the other two, the side ones have to be trained to go in two different directions, kind of out toward the side to keep the wagon, uh, going straight. Anyway, they're all parading like a lovely little <laughs> parade here. It's quite adorable. We can actually follow them along. Uh, and we can even, I believe, yeah, we can have the, uh, the horse's eye view. Is this not gorgeous or what? We can like just take a tour around the city and just uh, see. Hello, hello, good sir. How are you doing? Oh my God, here's a horse. Hello, hello. Nice. I can we can go from the side, moving with WASD to uh, to check out these uh, these carriages. Oh, there's a wow, what a pretty dress. Hey, nice. Anyway, did we just go past our station? Did they not go in? No, apparently they didn't go in. Anyway, um, it's okay. I think they're going to go on to the next station. So here we are going to the halt. Now, as you'll notice, when we click on terminals, both of them have a different terminal that they're going to. So that's so they don't stack up. You'll see this one's going to go to this terminal instead. So that one pulled into here and went down this way. And we can see this by this. So the but, uh, benches are where they pick up people. And this one goes up and by this bench and this one goes by the bench and then goes down in the other way. So hopefully they don't block each other too much. Anyway, they're going to go about their way and get their stuff going. And as you see, there's already the maintenance cost coming in. So it looks like they are nicely evening themselves out. This one is going toward this station. This one is going over here. And then the first one again is going to go to the next station there. So anyway, we're going to let them do our thing. And meanwhile, we're going to start another, uh, another, uh, city grouping of transport stations. And here we can all see if there's a passenger by the station icon, there are people waiting. So this is a very good sign so far. Anyway, we want to go down to Mark Foxton. And you know what? I just thought about one thing. We actually need another platform. So I want to build another platform to this station because guess what? We have to have a line going to Mark Foxton. So let's do that. Let's go ahead and configure this and build another platform. So we want a passenger platform, which is going to go here. I think there we go. Yep. That's perfect. So we can have this going here and that creates a third platform for us to use. And that's already done. Yes. Good. Perfect. So now we have three terminals for them to use. Isn't that nice? I think that's great. Anyway, there's a, there's a bit of a gap here. It'll be fine. They'll rebuild. Um, and let's go down to Mark Foxton and, uh, build similarly down here. Now here, look at this beautiful. I just love this road here. It is the most, I, I don't think I've seen a road this pretty in the game. It is actually really pretty. All right, let's go and look at our land usage thing again. It is this one. Okay. So not surprisingly, we have our residential area here and commercial and um, 
industrial out here. Now, where do we want to build our first stop? I'm thinking maybe the cool thing is to have a train station nearby the, um, the commercial area. And I'm thinking maybe I should build our central bus line station here, and then we can put the train line in over here. And we'll just demolish things willy nilly. It'll be fine. Um, we can maybe get rid of this one or put it next, right next to the crossroads. Yeah, let's do that. Let's go ahead and put this thing in and let's see, jangle it around just slightly here. Okay, so here's where we have an issue of it is slightly, slightly off. So there we go. That's, that is pretty darn good. Is it perfect though? It's hard to tell. It doesn't look quite there we go. Now that's straight on. So where do we want to put this? Does it want to be right next to the corner? It could be, and then it gets a lot of that residential area. Yeah, and moving it further doesn't really help us that much. Yeah, so let's put it over here. I think this is just fine if we put it right here and leave all these buildings to the side and not destroy them. Yeah, let's do that. Let's put it right there. Okay, and again, I think we're gonna have, let's build another terminal to the left or another, yeah, another platform to this. There we go. Excellent, excellent, perfect. And again, we can we can put in a couple of trees or maybe, you know what, this, this area is more industrial. I think we could possibly put in a couple of big stones or something. Is this nice? Let's see, we have these kind of granite. What is this one? Cracked rocks, we have granite. We've got, can have giganto rocks here. There's a lot of different things. And I just kind of wanted to sneak in away and show you these things. And we also have benches and things, and then mixed rocks where you can adjust which, um, which rocks you want, which trees you want, and have like a brush of whole of trees around here if you want to. Okay, let's just go ahead and put in, oh, oh collision, oh dear. Can we adjust con collision on this? Randomize height, ah, uh, no, darn it. Okay, I think trees are gonna be our best bet anyway. So let's just put in, you know what? These bushes are quite pretty. They also are kind of um, colorful. I guess maybe they turn blue at some point, maybe? I don't know, they're really pretty, I like them. So we're gonna put these in, make it nice for our residents. I don't think they actually care and I don't think it affects pollution in any way either. They're really just decorative. Anyway, I want to put in a few bus stations and I think we want to take in some of this residential area. And because this stop covers so darn much, I feel like we should make another block down here and just add this this way. Let's go here. Hopefully it's straight. Yes, good. Very good. One building will be removed. Sad times, but it happens. Uh, that seems to be reasonable up here. Do we want to connect here? Ah, oh, look at this. This is so nice because, I mean, it's really nice because we don't have to fix this. It can just be going on and happily doing its thing the whole time. Good. Let's add some stops. Now that we have this, let's add a stop down here, one down here for anybody gonna move down there. And I think one maybe here and then up here. And the rest of these people can go up in here and that's fine. Okay, so that's gonna be one line. I think it's gonna go around this residential area. And then the other line, let's put that around here. Uh, and then up here, say, and then down here. And I'm, if you notice, I'm really moving these things. I'm like envisioning how I want this line to go as I'm putting the stops down. Let's make another new line. Let's start from here. Okay, and this is gonna go around here and here and here. It's very short. Okay, new line from here to here, here. Oh, you saw that return there. That was fun. Okay, and around here, nope. Click on, okay, good. Yay, maybe, Fifth Street, good. All right, now we're gonna call this one RP 
uh, mark one. And this is going to be RP mark two. Now then, it, there is a good possibility that a lot of these people are just going to want to come to this station and then transfer out to go to the commercial part and or the industrial part for their jobs. Um, so let's build what we do need is we do need a road depot. I want to build that right now. So let's place that down. Let's get that right over here. Oh, very nice. Leave a little bit of space for some buildings out here. And then we're going to buy some vehicles. Let's buy six of them. I don't remember how many. I think we had six on the other ones as well. So if you're confident in your money, just order them and it'll be fine. All right, so let's go ahead and add all of these to RP Mark 1 and then these to RP Mark 2. Now then, now then, since we have more people starting in Laffy Taffyville, what I'm going to do is create a new line and we're going to go from Laffy Taffyville Holt all the way down here. Now this line is probably going to have a ton of vehicles. It's very long and they can only carry three people at a time. Um, yeah, so we're going to say this is going to be road passengers laugh to mark. Okay. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and buy the vehicles in Laffy Taffyville. Uh, because it's closer and I want to start with whew, how many like eight let's just start with eight and then transfer them all to RP Laughmark. yep now then um, the rest of what we're going to do is going to be fairly simple I think now we were looking at those real-time passenger or, or not passenger but movement scores here are they showing us here? Yes, they are. That road has nobody going to Pe Pep City. Oh no, you're lonely. <laughs> no, no, no. You have people coming from Tesselatrix uh, Town. Yes, that's where you got people coming from. Hello, hello. And um, all right, so what we can do from Laffy Taffyville is also take people up to Shadella Township. Oh, there's some people going along this road very nicely. And then, ah, oh yes, seven of them are going all the way up to Duskfall and then up to Characterburg. Again, another seven and more to Prongsville. All right, looking really good. So what I want to do with this is create a couple more stations, but we're not going to fill out the entire town with uh, vehicles. What we're just going to do is do a centralized uh thing we can have say we'll just have one platform just to make it cheap well this is 37 and this is how much 50. but <laughs> the question is how how many buildings do we have to get rid of to get that again to get away from that can we only deal with one three buildings removed wow here's two buildings removed and that's pretty straight. I think that's as straight as it's going to be. All right, let's see how many we want to catch the most out of the town possible. Probably this one too. Yeah, let's put it further this way. So in fact, we'll just have both of those platforms because it doesn't benefit us at all. It's just a tiny bit more expensive. Okay, that's fine. Uh, all right, Stella Township is done. Duskfall. Uh, let's align this nicely. Oops, it's a bit crooked. Yeah, it's one of those sneaky ones where you have to like do tiny, tiny shifting. There we go. One building removed. Perfect. Now then, Characterburg. Whoa. So the Characterburg is is a bit bigger than the other uh, cities that we've looked at. So. I think we can just kind of add it here. Wow, three buildings removed. No. What if we did it this way? Can we get away with one building? Two? Is that, that's a little bit crooked. I think that's about right. Two buildings still. Three. Err. Can we do zero? There. 
nope, still. It don't want to let me do it. No, no. Let's leave that one out of it. Just put it there. Okay. And then Prongsville as well. We have a lot of, lot of people in here. So this one, I would just want to put this in the center of town right up here. Let's see, is this relatively straight? Oh, it's hard to tell. No. A little bit. There we go. The funny thing is these roads can and do go in many different directions, like crazy directions. Can I, can I sneak it in here? Oh, I bet I can. Oh my God, I can. Look at this. Oh, that's so sneaky. That's beautiful though. Right in the middle of town. Okay, that's perfect. So we got stuff and it's actually good to have more than one platform. I didn't think about this before, but I think we had two on all of them because each of them is gonna have their own connections. Now then, um, we can buy more of these. Uh, we probably need to buy one more, at least, of the road depots. But for now, I'm going to have to add another platform onto Laffy Taffyville because we have added another connection. I mean, you don't have to have these things. You, they can share platforms. But in the interest of being efficient, I just want to go ahead and add another fourth terminal to this station because I think it makes sense for us. So let's go ahead and make new lines for all of these places. So let's go here, this one to over here. Okay, new line, this one to, where are we going next? Oh my God, I completely lost where we're going over here, I believe, yes. Okay, and then new line. We're going to name these afterward. I think that would make the most sense. Okay, this one goes all the way up there. That's quite a distance, isn't it? New line, Characterburg to Prongsville, I think. Yeah, there we go. Prongsville sightings. So the way we're going to do this is we're going to, let's see, let's order vehicles. We need, let's see, we have four lines. I think we can order vehicles for this line and that line. So we'll order like, I don't know, six each. So let's buy vehicles, 12. Okay. And then we're going to do half of them. Actually, what I should have done is just six and six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And you're going to go on line. This is line what? What are these lines? The orange one. Go to line one. And then I think we just did them in order. So the rest of you go to line two. And let me just name those lines while we're, so this is Shadella to Duskfall. So you're gonna be renamed. Oh, oh, wrong thing, wrong thing. I have to rename them here. So RP Shid to Dusk. There we go. Whoopsie, Shid, there we go. To Duskfall, and then this one is Laugh to Shid. P laugh to should. There we go. All right, so those are done. Now then, I think I want to build another road vehicle place in Characterburg. So we'll go ahead and build that out of town a bit here. I think that would be okay. And then get that here. All righty, there we go. And all these places cost money as well. So it's a good thing to maybe not have too many as well. So we're going to buy six of these and put them on line three. And then six again. And put them on line four. Okay, very good. Very, very good. So we can name those as well. So this is going to be Duskfall to Characterburg. Let's go and rename that line here. That's line three. So dusk to care. Oops, I forgot to do the RP at the front. There we go. This is going to be care to Prongsville. Okay. RP care to pro prong. Okay, there we go. Prong. Oh, that somehow <laughs> almost sounds wrong, but we know it's not wrong because it's not. It's definitely not wrong. Okay, so let's go and watch all of these these uh, little guys come out here. Oh, this is so exciting. Oh, and this is the, 
the most fun of all this whole uh, that we can build this bigger. Look at how many people are waiting. Six people are waiting on our first uh, uh, tram line or bus line. So that's one thing that we're going to need to do is look at stuff. Oh, look at this. We're going into the different areas. Oh, see, now this is what I mean about uh, different things stacking up. And they're going to have to wait. Yep. So some of them I think are going to skip. Uh, and some not, and you can see some of them go through and some of them are like uh, almost charioteers at the Colosseum. <laughs> oh, not the Colosseum, the other one. Oh my gosh, I forgot what the uh, the chariot races were performed in, uh, in the Roman times. I remember that from Caesar, I think it was, that game, Caesar 1, 2, and 3. Was there, I don't think it was a Caesar 4. Maybe there was, I, can't, I forgot the numbers. I definitely played all of them, whatever there were. Such a good game game series, I should say. And then soon after a while, what we can do, and I like to have this kind of up here just to reference this, but right now we see that the balance of all these lines is incredibly low, i.e. negative, really low, but that's going to get, uh, get into the positive. Once people are like, Hey, did you hear about that new transport company? Oh, 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 look, we can change something. This is great. So we have, this one, these two on the same one. So I want to put this one to terminal four instead. So they all have their own terminal and like people, are, oh my God, she's making us move. Yes, I am. Sorry about that. Oh, and here's a new building, building itself right there. That's pretty handy. Man, look at this, 719 from Laugh to Mark. How, how are those people doing right now? Are these Laugh to Mark? Let's see. Let's turn on our, our vehicle icons. Which, which icons do we have on right now? We have all of them on. Okay, so they're all down here. So Laugh to Mark really needs more, more people for sure. So let's go ahead and add more coaches here. So let's buy some vehicles. Um, now, one of the things <laughs> that there is in this game, let's just send these Laugh to Mark. Uh, one of the things that you can do in the game is if you go to the vehicle manager and say this, you can say, aha, clone vehicle. And that works sometimes, but what also often happens is that it clones it to a, a different place than you would expect it to. Like I would expect this to clone to the place that assigned it in the first place, like this place, but it doesn't always do that. And that's especially troublesome with trains where you may not have the lines connected or even road vehicles. Um, so if I hit clone, there's a good chance it might end up in that road vehicle depot over there. So that is not a good thing. Um, let's see what's going on over here. We have uh, many, many people here, but I don't know if the vehicles have gotten there yet. Are they? Oh no, they're on their way back. They're having a good time. This is great. Wow, there's 15 people in here. So we're gonna probably need more of these guys on that line. Which line is that? That is the blue line. So we're gonna, let's go ahead and buy vehicles get six more on the blue line. And it's very much a balancing thing. Uh, one cool thing that if you want to look at stuff, you can also, instead of have, let's just buy one for ex an example vehicle. So we're going to buy one of these and to put it on these different things, you, you might say, Oh my God, I can't remember what it is. Which blue is it? Cause there's this blue, there's another blue. You can just say, ah, only the things that are on screen by clicking, that eye icon. I love that feature. Same thing with here. You can only, you know, whatever's on screen. And if you zoom in, oh, only green. That's the only one we're allowed to put it on. So, yep. I think that's a cool, cool thing. Nice quality of life thing. Um, oopsies. Oh, I have to change it back. Whatever. Okay. Get another vehicle. But anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to watch that really carefully and make sure that we're making a profit uh, on all of these lines here. So, Anyway, what I'm going to do is we're going to run this for a bit and keep staying on 1815 because I really want to start our trains in 1850 as well. Um, but I do want to get all of these guys making a profit. And what that involves basically is just kind of word of mouth, kind of adding more here and there, that kind of thing, a little bit of a balanced thing. This game does definitely have the whole, okay, let's hurry up and AFK a bit in some respects, but you can already see there is some money being made. I just want to make sure that we're not 
at a deficit in any of these places. Look at this one. Laugh to Mark is doing so well. Holy fuzzy cats. Isn't that great? Oof. 42 of 42 seats taken. This one, uh, Laugh to Shadella is also really good. And here we can even see the frequency of how long it takes um, each new carriage to get to the destination uh, or how, how frequently they go past, I should say, not how long it takes to get to the destination because there are multiple on each destination. But man, look at this. Laugh to Mark is so full. Holy fuzzy cats. Look at this. The purple one is this one. Okay. So they are just now coming in, looks like, from the purple line. And look at them all lined up. They're like, hey, hey, no pushing, no shoving. We're all here first. That's fine. Can I look at this thingy? No, I can't. I was going to look at it like in up close mode, but look at all their dresses. I had no idea there was so much variety. It's like green and peach and brown and white and blue and uh and men's costumes as well look at them all that's so cool that's lovely i like how they like like literally standing up in lines here oh, their exercise instructors would be proud i'm quite sure <laughs> anyway so um i'm gonna try to balance a little bit about uh of that out between episodes but i hope you've enjoyed this first episode and uh if you want to see the introduction of trains make sure you don't miss the next one. So uh, thank you so very much for joining me. If you're interested in purchasing the game, be sure to check it out on my uh, via my humble link. Uh, that does help support me if you buy it through my link, but always check Steam and make sure, oh, what did they do to my palm trees? Always make sure that it might be cheaper in your local currency because Steam does have um, that kind of uh, regional pricing. Anyway, take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.